You're listening to Superpowers of the Soul on the Superpower Up Podcast, the show that elevates superpowers to the divine. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Jennifer Rizzio, superpower expert and founder of Soul Language, and this is Superpowers of the Soul. And today we're talking to Anka Herman, and we're going to talk about ways to build confidence through creativity and the mind. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited that you're here as well. And I always like to start with the kind of icebreaker question about what do you consider the superpower of your soul, but for you, not for anyone else, but just for you? What's the superpower of your soul? Creativity. Bringing ideas to life is the thing that jumps to mind. I love that. And how does that... um, reflect into your sacred purpose, that thing that you're here to, to experience, that um, purpose, your mission, what you're here to kind of participate the most in? How does the creativity revolve or include it in your sacred purpose? It really shows up in everything I do. And it's funny because when I discovered that that was what it was, what's at the heart of what motivates me to get up in the morning, really. Uh, I could really see how it's in every job I've ever had, in every move I've ever made. And it's that sensation of flow, you know, and that's really when when I'm making something, it can be something with my hands or or basically when I'm creating something, there is that sensation that, time stops and I basically dissolve. It's almost like as if it's coming through me. And I've heard poets say that, and I've really noticed it when I'm, when I'm cutting a dress, when I'm sewing or like something like, like that when, and it's when I feel most alive and it really shows up. And I can see that the creative process in everything, in every, where, everywhere I look. Agreed. I understand that. I mean, I'm a, you know, a creative being as well. And it, it just feels like you're, you're connected with, it feels like total connection to me when I'm in creativity. It feels like I'm one with everything. Yes. Yeah, me too. So what has been a common theme that your soul has shared with you throughout your journey? A common theme is the sensation that the time we have is a really precious gift and that I, I don't want to waste a second of it, mm-hmm. you know, and it doesn't mean I have to hustle all the time, but it means living consciously and making decisions that go towards you know, in case of doubt, give it a try, right? Instead of letting fear stop me from doing things. You know, I'd rather go out and try it and see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, well, then, then at least I know. You know, that sense of, of making the most out of life. Beautifully put. Beautifully put. And, I, and it's a, a philosophy or guidance that I think most of us should adapt. Before we have our break here, where do people get in touch with you? How can they learn more about you and your work? The easiest place to go would be my website. That's ankeherman.com, A-N-K-E-H-E-R-R-M-A-N. I have trouble spelling my own name. Dot com. It's, you know, when the dog barks, it gets a little like a... I know. I love that because that's what this is all about. It's about adapting and it's about realness and about being alive and not being perfect. And um, I was recording an audio for a class this week and my cat did a howl I've never heard out of her. And you can hear me like pause and then like finish my sentence and I stopped the recording and made sure she was okay. And then started reading recording but you could hear it go wow on it and you know what I could have re-recorded but you know what why it's not about being perfect it's about being in the moment and showing being conscious and, and what you do with each moment so everyone stay tuned to hear more about ways to build your confidence through creativity in the mind 
Hello, everyone. This is Tonya Don Reckla, Executive Director of Superpower Experts. And we want to thank each of you for making Superpower Up the number one podcast network for personal development and spiritual growth. Because people like you have the courage to say that mindfulness, healthy living, disrupting reality, the pursuit of consciousness, responsible entrepreneurship, and radical parenting matter. We now amass over 1 million downloads monthly in more than 90 countries. Our numbers keep growing because there are far more people willing to live divergently than mass media wants to acknowledge. For you, the change makers, the light bearers, the way showers, we say thank you. If you're ready to take the next step in your evolution, go now to superpowerexperts.com and take the superpower quiz. And as Neva Lee Rekla, our youngest podcaster, likes to remind us, remember, we all have superpowers and we can change the world. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jennifer Rizzio, and this is Superpowers of the Soul. And I'm with Anka Herman today, and we're talking about ways to build confidence through creativity and the mind. So how can people use that creative spark within them to really connect to their trueness so that their mind isn't doing all of the thinking for them? <laughs> Yeah, good question. I think it's it's one of those, it's a bit of a chicken and egg thing. You yeah. know, sometimes people often have that uh, sense that, oh, I need to be confident so that I can do things and so that my mind calms down. And I'm thinking, actually, it, in my experience, it works the other way around. It's when the mind settles down, when you don't have a million things on your mind, that's when create when ideas just flow through and come out and you know there's one spark after the other and and when you're in that creative flow when you're just doing something for the sake of doing it then you don't doubt yourself right and you are confident like when you I mean I don't know whether most people know in some one way or another what creative flow feels like and when you ask people, like, what's on your mind when you're in the middle of, the answer will always be like nothing, you know, like you're just so absorbed in what you're doing. And that's when you just do stuff. Yeah. And out of doing comes the confidence. Yeah. I think it comes afterwards. Yeah. It's not, you know, being in that creative flow you're you're not worried about all of the things in your mind and i and we're not saying that you have to have a total blank mind to be in the creative flow but it's been my experience that when you kind of decide and step into it it uh, the mind just softens because there's a purpose directed and that flow that creativity allows you know your hands and your mind to focus on something else yeah. and you're instantly in the flow of connection. And from there, you remember you're whole and complete. And that's what yeah. confidence is, people. It's knowing you're exactly. whole and complete. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what, what tip could you offer people to start utilizing that creativity or kind of get into that flow? What do you suggest if they've never kind of been aware of their creativity or, or how to access it before? It's... It's funny because when you really, it depends a bit on, on how, how you define creativity because when you really look at it, when you look at creativity at, as bringing an idea to life, we're creating all day long. There's Agreed. nobody who isn't creative. Agreed. So you realize that, no, no, you're actually a lot better at this than you think. You know, I think that's that's something really helpful to remember because it takes away that oh but I'm not good at it yes you are <laughs> you know you're doing it all day long it might not be expressed in in the typical creative ways you know you might not paint or you might not sew or sing or whatever but there's a, there's a million other ways to express creativity and the other thing that is really really closely related is what's stopping you from trying out something you know when you have an idea what's stopping you there's often that oh what if it you know what if it doesn't go right or what if i'm not doing it wrong and there's always that sense that something important is, is at stake and that's some that's an assumption to question 
Like what really is at stake? And when you really look at it, in most cases, yeah, what's the worst thing that can happen? You know? I love it. So, okay. So can you share with us an experience that um, you had that allowed your creativity just to blossom? I I started, like the, I remember when I was little, I would like literally forget the world around me because I would grab a piece of fabric and make a dress for my doll. Mm -hmm. And that, and that like turning, and I found it fascinating to turn a piece of thread or a piece of cloth into something else. That transformation, I've always found that fascinating. And, and it's, and to get in, absorbed in that, was like I don't know there was there was no way to avoid it you know and I've always been you know I still can tap into that like step into that like any minute any moment and what like an experience that that I have had so many times but it never sort of stops to amaze me when I'm making something like for example I cut a skirt and I've got the pieces and I've made the pattern so you know it's I've already designed it and I've already created that, you know, and then I have the pattern pieces on the fabric. And so many times I notice while I'm cutting, I kind of, it's almost like I'm watching myself, Mm. how my hand sort of cuts into, you know, like adjusts the curve that, and I've never, never doubted that. There's always this absolute certainty in it. And because it's, it's like, I can't follow exactly what's going on there, but when, the client or the person who is actually going to, you know, puts that skirt on. There's always, it's, it's that alteration that came out of like through nowhere came through me is what makes the fit perfect. Mm. And I, you know, to, to trust that is it like takes a bit of getting used to. It's like trusting your intuition when you rational mind can't really follow, you can't really say why it works, but you gotta know it does. And I think that's that's an experience. It's almost like a physical sensation that I've had. It's powerful every time it happens. Yeah. So what I hear you saying is also is find something, anything that allows you to access that same um, experience in your own life, whether it's you yes. know taking a recipe and turning it into something, uh, you know, taking pencils or just going for a walk, all of that of being in the flow will actually calm the mind and build confidence. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's when you, you notice that that's when ideas come in, when all of a sudden solutions pop up for problems that you tried so hard to solve but couldn't. So if there's one thing that you want everyone to remember from our conversation today, what would it be? Just go play. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) So um, tell everyone how to get in touch with you. The easiest way is to go to my website, ankerherman.com or passionbusinesspodcast.com. And um, I'm also on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. Pretty much pretty easy to find, but the website mm-hmm. and the podcast, it's it's the easiest. Beautiful. Easiest place. So my last question is if you were a magnet on whatever you call your higher powers refrigerator, what would your magnet say? Don't just learn, create. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your creative spark with us today. And everyone, if you like what you heard, you can connect with me and all the other experts in the Superpower Net at superpowerexperts.com forward slash the net. Thank you so much. Don't forget not just to find your connection, be your connection, but create from your connection. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Are you ready to discover your superpowers? Go now to superpowerexperts.com and take the superpower quiz today.